I'm Anil Kumar and here is a very interesting test question on maximum and minimum. The stiffness of a rectangular beam is proportional to the product of its width and the cube of its depth. Find the dimensions of the stiffest beam that can be cut from a wooden log of diameter 15 inches. So let's look into this. Uh, let's say this is our wooden log and that is the circular cross section of the log. So we need to cut a log from here, rather a beam from this log, so that it is most stiff, right? So basically that could be like this. You can think that like this. So that's the beam, right, we're talking about. So what we are given here is that the diameter of this is 15 inches, right? So the diameter is given to us. And let us say that width is W and the depth is D for us. Let us say these are the parameters and the diameter is given to us as 15. Now, width and depth can be linked with the help of Pythagorean theorem since this is a right triangle. So we can say W square plus D square is equals to 15 square. Right? So now from here, we can always write what depth is in terms of width for example so we can say depth square is equals to 15 square minus w square or depth is equals to square root of 15 square minus w square right so so we get relation of one variable with the other now in the question we are also given that stiffness of a rectangular beam is proportional to the product of its width and cube of its depth so that means let us say s is the stiffness it is proportional to product of its width and cube of its depth so d cube right so that is what it is given so when we say proportional to we can write the equation as equal to we can say this is s is equals to some constant k times width times d cube right so that is how we can actually get the equation for stiffness in such a scenario. Now to get it in one variable, we can write a D in terms of width, W. So we can say stiffness in terms of width will be K times width times. So D is square root of all this. So we can say this is 15 square minus width square to the power of 3 over 2. Right? So that is how we can get a relation relating width with the stiffness right now once we have this relation it's kind of simpler the strategy now is to find this derivative right so the strategy now is to find this derivative and equate it to zero so that we get critical number right so this is the strategy for us so let's begin to solve so we have stiffness in terms of width as this so what is the derivative so derivative of stiffness in terms of width with respect to width will be equal to we can apply the product rule right so k times w times this that means derivative of w is 1 so we could say this as k times uh, 15 square minus w square to the power of 3 over 2 plus k times w times derivative of this part which is 3 over 2 times 15 square minus w square to the power of 3 over 2 minus 1 so 3 over 2 minus 1 will be uh, 3 over 2 minus 1 that means half right so it gives us half here times the derivative of inside function which is 2 times w right so which is 2 times w so that becomes the derivative for this particular function now we can equate this to 0 and then solve for width, right? So we have k times all this plus all this. We could simplify this a bit, right? So we get 2 and 2 cancelled off. Now as you can see, k and k is common, right? And 15 square minus w square to the power of half we can take common, right? So let's take that common. So we have k times 15 square minus w square to the power of half as common. So what we are left with here is, if I take away to the power of half, 
so 3 over 2 minus half means 2 over 2 that means 15 square minus w square from the first term and from the second term we get k is outside so w times w is w square let me write here w square times 3 right times 3 um, and this we have already taken outside so that is what remains is it okay so 3 w square is what remains here right now so it's simpler to to simplify now so this is square root of 15 square minus w square and here we have 3 w square minus w square is 2 w square so we have 15 square minus 2 w square correct so that is much simpler now this is equal to 0 it means we have two scenarios one is uh, w equals to 15 right this is 0 and the other one will be when the, this part is 0 which is we can say 2 w square equals to 15 square or w equals to square root of this right so 15 over square root of 2 right so when you divide and then you square root of 2 so 15 divided by square root of 2 is is the other part right so let me check this so we have a small mistake here it should be minus 2w so it is minus right so this is not plus but minus here so that minus will make this as 4 right so this is a correction let me just correct this so this will be actually minus 4 and so this is 4 and so this is square root of 4. now it is correct so derivative of minus w square will be minus 2w right so this gives you 15 divided by 2 or 7.5 as your answer for w right now let us see uh, what do we get as depth and then we'll calculate the stiffness the question is find the dimensions of the stiffest beam right so we don't even have to find the strength but it is the dimensions which are required so we know the for critical number width is 7.5 and if I substitute 7.5 I get D as equals to square root of 15 square minus 7.5 square right so that is equal to this fine so we have 15 square minus 7.5 Point five square which is then we do square root of this and that is equals to in decimals let's write it down approximately 12.99 so we get width as 7.5 and depth as let's say 13 right inches right so the answers are in inches so 13 inches so that gives us the maximum stiffness for the particular beam so what you can also do here is test your answer that means you can find stiffness the formula is right there approximately with k any constant is proportional to w d q so you can substitute different values of it in this particular case width could be 0 or 15 right so maximum diameter is 15 so you can check for width equals to 0 width equals to 15 and width equals to 7.5 calculate the value right so stiffness for 7.5 you will get as maximum right so I like you to do these calculations and then check however the answer will be width equals to 7.5 inches and depth equals to 13 inches right so that's how you should be solving it I hope it's absolutely clear Thank you and all the best.